Okay, so today we're going to be doing these candy cane covers. This uh, is 100% cotton. This one is acrylic and I'm pretty sure this one is a cotton blend. You can use any material as long as um, it's double knit thickness, just to make things easier. Um, and then you'll want a 4mm crochet hook. There we go. Which I think is um, a J hook. Um, so DK or light worsted um, or number three. All the same thickness. So what you want to do first of all is start off by doing a slip knot. Whichever way you prefer. And pull it tight onto your hook. And then we're going to chain 25, which is basically the measurement of the inside edge of your um, candy cane. So if you're making, if you've got a bigger candy cane, then you can make this starting chain longer. So 25, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now, obviously, if any point I'm going too quickly, you can either pause the video or there are settings in the top right hand side of YouTube where you can slow down the video. I always find that handy. Okay. So then, once you've got your 25, or however many you're doing, chain one, again, and then you're going to single crochet in every one of these chains to the end, so not the one that you've just made, but the 25th. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through two. So obviously that's single crochet in US terms, or it's double crochet in UK terms. So you're going to continue all the way along, so you'll have 25 when you get to the end. So if you need to go a little bit slower, just pause the video until you get to the end and then you'll be able to catch up again. There is also a written pattern for this as well, which I'll pop a link in the description box for where you can find that on the blog page. Um, and also, if you happen to be on Facebook, you can join the Crochet Collective. Um, I put all the patterns on there for free, um, so you can get those at any time. You should be able to download them. You can also find the PDFs to buy in both UK and US terms on Etsy. So I'll pop a link to that as well, just in case you fancy being generous and buying a pattern. Normally only a couple of quid. There's often sales on there as well. Um, also on Ravelry, just search for Let's Create a Gift and you'll see any patterns on there that I've that I've written. Okay, so just coming to the end now, just make sure when you get back to the end that you are going into that very last stitch there, this one. Okay, and that will give you a 25. I made my slip knot a bit differently to how I normally do it. And now I've got um, a little bit tight on the end. There we go. So uh, now I'm going to be working on row three. So for this, you want to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. And we're now going to be working back along. So now we're making the gaps that you can thread your candy cane through. So I'm going to skip this first one and double crochet into the next one there. So skip this first one, sorry, a bit easier. And double crochet into this one, which in UK terms is a triple. So for this you want to yarn over once, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, chain one, and the next stitch, you're going to do the same, so yarn over, insert your hook, pull through two, pull through two, 
and then again chain one double crochet in the next okay so that's your beginning part there this bit okay then you're going to chain one okay and this time you're going to double crochet chain one double crochet into each stitch sorry i keep moving down there don't i so now you're going to double crochet chain one and in the same stitch do another double crochet so it basically creates a, a v stitch there okay so you're going to do that four times in total so chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the same so that's two v stitches chain one move to the next stitch double crochet chain one double crochet in the same it's three v stitches and then last one chain one double crochet chain one double crochet you see how that's now made your work turn okay and now we're going to repeat to the end so if you have done extra chains because you've got a larger candy cane ooh, you're now going to do chain one skip one double crochet all the way to the end so this will give you this part here so you can just keep going for as long as you've got chains left okay so chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and this creates your gaps chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet I think it's seven in total. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. And you're almost done. Okay, now there's two ways that you can finish this off. You can either have it um, like this one here. So you've got like a, a scalloped edge or you can finish it off like that and just have it straight. Uh, there are actually two different ways to do the scalloped edge. Um, both are on the PDF version as well. Okay, have I done that? Oh, I might have miscounted actually myself at the beginning. If that's the case, I'm not going to undo it all for the sake of something so small. Just don't chain one and just go straight into that. If you've got any left over at the end and it's not quite worked out, just double crochet into that very last chain. Okay, so chain one and turn. So if you wanted it to just be a straight edge, all you would do is you would single crochet into every single stitch around and that would just finish it off for you. Um, and we'll do the um, scalloped edge on this video. So chain one and turn, and then it will count as your stitch. Then you're going to single crochet into the next. It's not very easy to see, is it? Single crochet into the next. Just yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Okay, and then we're going to double crochet in the top of the double from the last round. Easier. So into this one here. So we're going to double crochet. So that's yarn over, insert, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then chain one. Do the same again in the same stitch. There you go. And then chain one. And double crochet in the same stitch again. So you've got three stitches going into the top of that one. So your third stitch in. Okay. And then to secure that down, so to, to bring that edge down, you're then going to single crochet into the top of the next double crochet from the previous round. Okay. And you're basically going to work like that all the way along even on the corners so 
or, or sorry, the, the edge. So where you've got um, three going into that one, still single crochet into the next. So three into that one, still single crochet into the next. That makes sense. See it like that. So you've got three going into that double crochet and then one going into that double crochet. So you're going to work that all the way along. Okay, so this one would then be done a single crochet into that double. So then we're going to do the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, three times to create another, and then single crochet in the next, just to anchor that down again. Oh dear, I've got a tangle. That's what happens when you don't work from the centre. Okay, so again, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Obviously just making it flat, um, like the pale pink one I showed you a second ago, is a lot quicker. It's also a lot easier, so if you don't feel confident in doing this bit, you could just do them straight and they would still look great. I've been using mine to put on, because we've wrapped everything in brown paper and ribbon this year, we've been using these to just jazz up the presents a little bit. I also like to work from the centre, but sometimes it does get stuck. There we go. Sorry about that, you're probably racing on ahead. So, double chain one, double chain one, double. Single into the next. So, all in all, these usually will only take about 20 minutes. Uh, possibly less because I think I've managed this video in shorter time but I have made lots of them so I am getting fairly quick and don't really have to refer back to the the written pattern if there's anything that um, you would like to be covered in a video I know there are absolutely hundreds of thousands of crochet videos out there but sometimes you just need something specific and can't find it Pop it in the description box, uh, sorry, pop it in the comments box and let me know what it is that you're after. And I'm always happy to take requests, especially as I'm, as you can tell by my <laughs> video views, new to YouTube, but always happy to help out. There we go, that's the last one. Do you get to the last one? Do you three in there? And then you should have one left, one stitch left, so the top of this chain three would be your last um, stitch to go into and that should just tie the end down to finish it off uh, and then in fact you can either sorry I went into the wrong stitch so single crochet and you see there you've got your chain three from the first round you want to go into the top of there and you can either tie off there and just sew it in together or what I like to do is slip stitch across sorry I came off the camera then slip stitch back down the chain three just so that both of my ends are then in the same place but if you prefer to sew it in that's fine you can as well if you wanted to hang a um pop a hanging loop on if it was going onto your tree just snip this off didn't need to get these out of the beginning And all you do is wrong end, take on this end, chain as if she's going to do a chain, and just pull it all the way through. And then I usually tie those two ends together, so that's definitely not going to come undone. And then I would just weave those ends in, I just weave them back along the chains there. Or if you're tying it onto a present, you could even tie it there if you wanted to. Um, although I do prefer, especially if they're going on the 
tree. I like to use mine about here. And just add a yarn back on again, if that's what you're using. And then I would just chain, say, 20. And then you could fold it over and tie it and you'd have a longer loop. I'm going to leave mine like that. And I will weave in those ends. And you don't need to see that though. That's fairly easy. That's the easy part. Um, so that's it. If you do make one, I'd love to see it. Either um, share it on the Facebook page or you can send it on Ravelry if you happen to find me on Ravelry. And that would be great. always love to see if somebody's made something. But that's a relatively easy quick Christmas makes if you're struggling for um, little gift ideas they're great just to pop in a little bit different nice way to give some sweets and something that people can then keep as well as a Christmas decoration um, and that's all thanks very much don't forget to subscribe if you can so that I can see how many of you are watching the videos and hopefully create some more for you soon thanks bye